huge success for the region, the um, community, and the entire state. This program sets the bar in automotive technology training. It is um, first class, and it's solid partnerships between the college, between the manufacturers, between the industry partners, and with our students in our community and really understanding the needs of what needs to go into a trained automotive technician. And what's absolutely amazing about this profession, the students that graduate from here have a 100% job placement. One of the students, her name is Mary Carr, and she said, this entire building is incredibly thought out. It's convenient to have my classroom in the same room as my lab, it's just brilliant. And that kind of thinking, when you start going through this facility and you see how those labs and the classrooms are designed, it is amazing. Well, let me first say welcome to Central Campus. We've got an incredible thing going on here. 15,000 students strong, actually more than 15,000. And I suspect by the time we count the 221 part term courses that started just a week or so ago, <laughs> we're going to be a little higher than that. I'm kind of excited to see what happens. I want to express my thanks on behalf of the Port of Houston. Sanderson and Collins, leadership in key areas such as transportation, maritime, workforce, and small business development. As we face a new dawn on the transportation horizon, we are extremely grateful to have Sanderson and Collins, Mr. Gregory D. Winfrey. Join me in the Sanjack welcome to Mr. Winfrey. So today's a great day for Houston. Uh, it's a great day because with the opening of this world-class training center, San Jacinto College, it's going to prepare and position its students for important and good-paying jobs, as we've heard, in the transportation industry. It's going to give the auto industry great employees who are ready to hit the ground running as soon as they step in the door and begin contributing on day one. It's going to help this country retain its preeminence as the builder of world-class cars and help make the vehicles that are already on the road safe. What's been achieved here? We've got a 92,000 square foot classroom workshop facility, a partnership with nine major auto manufacturers, and a training program where a student essentially walks out the door and right into a good paying job in the growth industry. So this is not just a state of the art training center, it's a booster shop for the local economy. Helium, I mentioned, uh, for nearly 50 years, San Jacinto College has offered academic and training programs that reflect Houston's unique character and identity as a transportation hub. The Transportation Center is just the latest milestone. <coughs> San Jacinto College is a great example of the unique role that community colleges play in the economy and why the president has made them a priority. Community colleges offer affordable, specialized training and education programs that connect people to jobs, to jobs that need to be filled right now. There's no field that needs these types of programs more than the field of transportation. And this is why the Chancellor Hellier, and Dr. Mackey, and Dr. Horton, and Dean Parks, and their colleagues, stakeholders, friends, and well-wishers have achieved here is so important. The transportation is much more than an impressive state-of-the-art facility. It's a smart investment that's gonna pay dividends for years to come. And I'm very honored that you asked me to come here and present with you and fellowship with you and really partake in this wonderful launching of this great facility. So thank you very much. I want to really thank Mr. Winfrey for taking time out for this. I mean, I think it really adds a note of how important this structure is, this facility is going to be to the community, that you would take time out from your busy day and share the kind words you that you did. And thank you also to everyone else who took time from their busy day. You know, at this time in education, I think we're really at some crossroads. Uh, it's not too good for a lot of our students. I think San Jack helps make quite a difference here and has for the last 50 years. But I don't think we can do near the job that we have to unless we have the partnerships like we have in this room today. I don't think there's ever been a dedication of a building or an opening or groundbreaking that has ever had the partnership involvement that this has. And that really gives me hope for our future here. So thank you, all of you, for joining us today. Gina, we're ready. We need more. Are we ready? Yes. One, two, three. Everybody smile.
Marie, watch out. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Yep. Okay. All the way? All the way. Go for it.